Hello everyone, I'm Professor Ricardo, and in this video we are going to solve a quantum mechanics problem. The Hamiltonian operator for a two-state system is given by A multiplying these four projectors, 1, 1, minus 2, 2, plus 1, 2, plus 2, 1, where A is a number with the dimension of energy. Find the energy eigenvalues and the corresponding eigenkets as linear combination of 1 and 2. So we are looking for this eigenvalue equation where we want to find out the eigenvalues and the eigenkets. So the eigenket, let's call it x, is in a matrix representation equal to x1, x2 in a column matrix, and this is equal to x1 multiplying 1, 0, plus x2 multiplying 0, 1, and 1 is 1, 0, and the cat 2 is 0, 1. So let's write these two cats, 1 and 2, and the corresponding bras. The bra 1 is 1, 0 in a line matrix, and 2, the bra 2, is the li this line. 0, 1. So, the projector 1, 1 is going to be the product of this cat by this bra. And the result is 1, 0, 0, 0. The cat 2 multiplying the bra 2 will result in 0, 0, 0, 1. 1, 2 is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0. And 2, 1 is equal to 0, 0, 1, 0. So, we have all the four projectors to write the Hamiltonian age. It is A multiplying 1, 1, 1, and this term here is the one with a negative sign. So we need to find out the determinant of this matrix because this is equal to zero. So this matrix is A minus lambda, and minus a minus lambda, minus as a factor, will result in a plus lambda. And the off-diagonal terms is they are equal to a. So the determinant of this matrix is the product of these two terms with a minus factor here. Uh, we will get a squared minus lambda squared minus a squared and this is equal to lambda squared minus 2 a squared being equal to 0 and lambda is equal to plus minus the square root of 2 multiplying a so these are the eigenvalues we have two eigenvalues this matrix acting on the cat x the eigencats this is equal to zero. So the matrix is given by this one multiplying x1, x2. And this is equal to zero. So the first term will result in this equation. a minus lambda multiplying x1 plus a multiplying x2. This is equal to zero. And then x2 is equal to lambda minus a divided by a, so it will be lambda over a minus 1 multiplying x1. Now we get this relation between x2 and x1. So the eigenkets are 1 multiplying x1 and plus minus square root of 2 minus 1 multiplying x1 because lambda over a is equal to plus minus the square root of 2. So, this product is equal to 1. And as a consequence, x1 squared plus x2 squared is equal to 1. Since they are real numbers, we get x1 squared multiplying 1 plus x2 squared will be lambda over a squared plus 1 minus 2 
lambda over a times x1 squared. So the result of this is lambda over a squared is equal to 2. So we get 1 plus 1 plus 2, 4, and lambda over a is plus minus the square root of 2. So if you write it as a factor of 2 inside this square root, then 2 multiplies 2 minus plus the square root of 2. So we have two solutions. When lambda is equal to the square root of 2 multiplying a, we get the eigenket, let's call it psi 1, it, it, it is equal to 1, 1 plus the square root of 2 minus 1 multiplying the cat 2, and x1 is equal to this factor, so the square root of this term. And when lambda is equal to minus the square root of 2 times a, the eigenket is psi 2, and it is equal to 1 minus, minus the square root of 2 plus 1 times the cat 2 over this factor with a sign plus.